फॉर्मर मिस इंडिया बॉलीवुड हॉलीवुड एक्टर सुपर मॉडल वॉट इज लेफ्ट आई मीन वॉट आर यू डूइंग वॉट एम आई डूइंग आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू एज मच एज आई कैन एंड लॉट्स इज लेफ्ट आई मीन यू बीन इन हॉलीवुड फॉर ऑलमोस्ट अ डेकेड नाउ सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन हॉलीवुड I'm doing mainstream uh, regular American television. Okay. And um, yeah, so that has been quite a challenge because when I moved from India to the United States, they were not very sort of clement to looking at Indian actors or they didn't have many roles for Indian actors. So, but it's come a long way now. and i've made my mm-hmm. inroads in my own way mm-hmm. into some casting directors and some uh, american projects so i mean while doing all this do you miss bollywood and mumbai meri jaan absolutely <laughs> every time i've been on set i go gloating about bollywood and uh, and you know it's just a different feel when you're working at home Right. and the amount of accolades you get in your own country you don't get anywhere else <laughs> there's no comparison <laughs> you got married with nawab how did nawab proposed you i mean was it uh, ye hasina maan jayegi i mean or he said mere ko virasat mein pooja chahiye <laughs> <laughs> dekho virasat mein pooja uh, chahiye is an oxymoron virasat mein to mil jati hai I think we had only been dating not even 20 days a month but we've known each other so uh, when we re-met so in 20 days he takes me to delhi he's from delhi and he says why don't you change ghar pe and uske baad we'll go to this event so i went home and there was the surprise engagement in front of his mother who's no more uh and uh, his dad his sisters he has he uh, went down on his knees and in, he says i wanted it to be in front of my mom and uh, my family and so then he proposed to me sometime it just take 20 days and sometime probably take years i know but uh, it it did happen how is how is the journey so far you know journey has been great uh, it's great uh, he's the one uh, that moved because of who i moved back to india if it hadn't been uh, my marriage to nawab shah i'd still be sitting in hollywood <laughs> 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 and going through auditions <laughs> pooja any which was your journey was not that easy everyone knows uh, you have done probably more than 250 plus event shows runways yeah. and uh, during your uh, assignments yes you also have turned down many movies at that time because you were studying yeah no one say no to assignments yeah you think study at that time education was your priority and it was important then your uh, future career goals and assignments uh yeah so that was a law uh, rule by my pa- parents that uh, you can only do movies if you complete your graduation okay that was a rule there was no breaking it Okay. So I had to say no. <laughs> well, I had exams and all that stuff. I uh, have graduated from Ferguson College in Pune, the in economics, a plain graduation. Mm-hmm. Then after that I did my MBA from Symbiosis Pune. So they said nahi ye to karna hi hai. <laughs> so I had no way around it. <laughs> Movies karni hai to graduation to karni padegi. Typical so. Indian family यूट्यूबर भी बनना है तो पहले ग्रेजुएट हो जाओ एमबीए कर लो फिर बने यूट्यूबर कर लो या व्हिच इज ग्रेट यू नो बिकॉज वंस यू लीव स्टडीइंग एंड इफ यू लीव दैट गैप एंड देयर इज अ बिग गैप बिटवीन योर एजुकेशन देन देयर इज इट्स वेरी हार्ड फॉर यू टू गो बैक करेक्ट करेक्ट लाइक आई ट्राइड टू गिव माय जी मैट व्हेन आई वाज इन द यूएस आई वांटेड टू गेट इनटू अ आईवी यू नो एमबीए कॉलेज एंड आई वांटेड टू गेट इनटू वॉर्टन एंड ऑल एंड दे सेड जी मैट योर जी मैट स्कोर विल डिसाइड इफ यू गेट इनटू दीस कॉलेजेस एंड आई स्टार्टेड studying for gmat and i tell you boy i couldn't do it <laughs> i was like because there was a gap of 10 years had it not been a gap i would have done it okay you know what i'm saying so parents are right generally that when you're in the sort of when you're plugged in into the whole studies then it's faster and easier for you to finish your education but why you thought of pursuing studies after such a i love gap? i love pursuing some something other than what i'm doing okay it's uh part of who i am so apart from what you are doing right now and probably bollywood or uh, assignments that you are doing 
what is your passion you are giving back to societies every one try to do something or the other which in a way prove them or probably uh, take them to a humble journey giving yeah, back to society yeah, so yeah. what what is that you look at i try and uh, donate money uh, uh, to as many charities as i can uh, this year i have donated to uh, foundations that make amputated parts for people that have to cut their arms because of some kind of medical so legs and arms you know those okay. Uh, Jaipur arms mm -hmm. and legs. Mm -hmm. So I have donated to that uh, foundation so that some people can have an extended and live a normal life. Mm. I love animals. So um, any friend of mine who has an animal shelter or uh, there's a cow shelter, I go and I donate money. Okay. I love animals and I feel in my country, which is a great country, I feel that sometimes animals are not treated that well. And I don't like that. So if some of my friends, my friend uh, Dipti Bhatnagar is, uh, has an animal uh, sort of foundation in mm -hmm. Goa, so I donate money to her foundation because I know it's going to the right source. Source. Uh, I go, in any city I go, I go to a cow shelter. This side of the story is super difficult to even imagine when you are in the larger screen sitting in auditorium and looking at uh, a person and this side of the person is totally different grounded and giving back to society which we say apart from that Pooja you still maintained people say age is just number but you actually prove it and even in your recent uh, photo shoot that was done by Ash Gupta I mean yes. it was I mean it's difficult to understand what is your age <laughs> how, how do you man maintain it and how do you balance it with keeping in mind and super stressful situation right now Everyone is under stress, be it work, personal yeah. life, professional life. Yeah. How, how do you maintain it? See, for anything, you have to give up something, right? Anything you right. want to achieve, uh, you want to give up something. So I try and maintain a kind of discipline in my life, uh, which involves at least some kind of exercise. And my go-to exercise is yoga. Okay. Uh, I love yoga. Uh, I believe in movement. There has to be some kind of movement. Your body is made to walk. That's why you transition from four-legged to two-legged mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. you're meant to walk. Mm. Uh, we all have, because of our digital era right now, we all have transitioned to a very sedentary lifestyle, which is very, very bad. Uh, if in the years to come, be it mobile, be it, I don't know, iPad or whatever, it's very bad. So as long as you're active and you're doing some kind of muscle movement, some kind of movement, even if you go in the kitchen and make your own tea and you do your own bed, some kind of movement, because muscle mm. uh, does not know age. Right. So uh, uh, when you're working out and you're building muscle, muscle doesn't know you're 20 or 40. Muscle ka kaam hi wo hai to build muscle. So even when you're 90 and you're building muscle, muscle is not going to turn around and say, ab main karunga kyunki main 90 ho gaya <laughs> So you have to keep yourself active and I have sort of uh, stayed on that path. That's, that's great. Your experience in terms of house hunting? Yes. Mumbai versus US. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Both expensive uh, real estates, <laughs> very expensive real estates. I was fortunate in US, I uh, lived in West Hollywood and I had a house in Encino. So here also Mumbai is not f uh, far behind. It's uh, I would say is at par with now Los Angeles. Uh, it's probably one of the most re expensive real estates in the world. And I was lucky I always had a house, but it's always good to have sort of another property. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah. How does Nawab help you in terms of house hunting? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't afford it. No. <laughs> I, I keep telling him, go to Zillow, go to your check. No, we can't do this. <laughs> That's how he helped me. So one is house hunting and then you have uh, the purchase process and then you have interior and then you have shifting. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, yeah. it's it's a lengthy process. Yeah, yeah, it's and, not easy. It's uh, like changing your phone. Uh, I mean, <laughs> probably more than that because yeah. every, every journey is a stressful journey itself yeah. and there is a lot of money involved. 
Yes. So what do you suggest in terms of a consumer who is looking for a, a property in today uh, market? Yes. So what would you suggest? I mean, how the journey should be, what they should look at while buying this property? Obviously, you have to know where you want to live, which area. So area location is very location. key. So once you have circled on that, I want to live in Beverly Hills mm. or I want to live in Bandra, mm. then life becomes easy. Then the other thing is getting a good realtor mm. or a good real estate agent or a broker, uh, you know, however you want to phrase it and go start looking. Go start looking at as many places as you can with your budget. Correct. And so, like, let's say if you have a budget of uh, one million dollars, mm. be rest assured that you will like a house of one point five. <laughs> 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 That's just human nature. Correct. That's just human nature. Yeah. yeah. And if you're very, very lucky, then you'll find something in your budget. Some distressed property, property. Oh, if you find a distress, yeah. there's nothing like mm. it. But then again, it's very rare that you get a good, good distress uh, property. You know, finding a right home is difficult. However, if you are in Mumbai, you are lucky because Platinum Corp make your life easy. Get strategic location, lifestyle product and on-time delivery. That's the way to live Platinum life. Launching Platinum Grandeur. For more details, click the link in the description below. Pooja, one such experience in your life, you thought, yaar, main yahan pe kya kar rahi hoon? Matlab, kaha aagai main? Right. Yeah, I just had this so called. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, kya batai? I, I was in Zanzibar just okay. now and one of my activities was to, you know, go swim with the turtles. <laughs> it's, okay. It's, so we had to get into a natural sort of water with turtles. Mm. Okay. And there must have been about 100 turtles or maybe more. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll share the video with you. So here I am, my friends are gone and they've done their pictures. So I said, this is absolutely fine. Because I heard that turtles bite. And the okay. tortoise bite not bite. Tortoise is the big one, right? Turtle is the small one. So I said, my turn is coming. So I also went main andar chali gayi jaise aise ek stone bana hua hai wahan ja ke wo fir wo algae phenkte hain ya sea weed phenkte hain jo aapko khilana hota hai to main wahan chali gayi jaise main wahan gayi meri friend ki ek zor se awaaz aayi and i said what happened she got bit by a turtle okay and i was like oh my god and i was like jaa mein dekho turtles the you know they were like they were everywhere like i couldn't move and their wings their legs were just hitting me and i was like pata nahi kya ho raha and then i tried to go little further ahead and swam so i started swimming so main ye karu ya turtle ya kar tang bhi turtle i got so scared and I wanted to come back and in that scary thing, I was like, Man, what am I doing here? Somebody is going to bite me. I think this activity was planned by Nawab himself. <laughs> I, 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 can, I, can, I can bet on it. Oh my God. You think so? I mean, I can <laughs> no, bet on no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> no? I don't think so. He didn't even know. Mm. Oh my God. It was the scariest moment of my life. They are harmless. They don't bite you mm. unless you show them danger or you're wearing green if you're wearing green they can bite you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for me to come from there to here which was a distance of just this much it took me 30 minutes oh because i was so scared and all my videos were like oh, oh, ee, oh. <laughs> and i was like what am i doing here <laughs> So that was one a moment that I felt that I don't think I'm needed here <laughs> and never again will I do this. Good. So. Uh, Pooja, you are also found of uh, interior. You have also done a couple of assignment in terms of designing. Yes. You've been doing so many things. Yeah. How come in interior, I mean designing part, artifacts and all, how this thought came into mind? What have you been doing in that space? Uh, so I have impeccable style and I have great sense of uh, placement. Okay. Um, so my friend uh, Tanzil Malik who I've known for many many years now and we've worked together in many projects starting from my movies to my stage shows to my personal life to my wedding 
Beddings. <laughs> <laughs> so every time we worked together, we created amazing sort of outfits and people would love it and amazing stuff. So she came up with this idea that I partner with her okay. in uh, uh, MMM okay. and come out with my exquisite sort of line, which is mm, styled by me. Okay. So that's what, that's we, yeah, that's what we are venturing into. It's sort of like a line only by me okay. of artifacts. Okay. Yeah. So stay tuned. In next episode, we would have Pooja and Tanzil together where we'll talk about artifacts and what she's doing in that space in detail. Don't forget to follow Prop Gyani Girish Chalwani.